Less than half of all American adults got a flu shot from the summer of 2018 to the spring of 2019. That's according to the Centers for Disease Control. That's 45 percent. Right now, manufacturers are spinning up production to get this year's supply of flu vaccine ready for the public. CDC Director Dr. Robert Redfield had an ominous warning in an interview with the Washington Post in late April. Redfield said, quote, there's a possibility that the assault of the COVID-19 virus on our nation next winter will actually be even more difficult than the one we just went through. We're going to have the flu epidemic and the coronavirus epidemic at the same time. The symptoms of coronavirus and flu are very similar. And when they are mixed in together, it is going to be very difficult for us to tell the difference between coronavirus and influenza virus. That means this year especially, health experts say getting a flu shot is vital. Having both of them would be potentially overburdening the healthcare system. Dr. Leonard Friedland leads the vaccine efforts of global healthcare company GSK. He also sits on the National Vaccine Advisory Committee, which makes recommendations to the Department of Health and Human Services. We expect there, there could be another wave of COVID disease. If we can reduce the burden of influenza, it will help our health care systems because there'll be fewer people who would be otherwise hospitalized. GSK manufactured more than 25 percent of the 170 million flu vaccines the CDC said were supplied in the U.S. this most recent flu season. Last year, we provided 46 million doses of influenza vaccine. With COVID-19 and flu in the conversation together, there's additional attention on flu vaccinations already this year. I think that's a real high possibility that there's not going to be um, enough of the vaccine to go around. Jenna Vallejo manages Potomac Pediatrics in Rockville, Maryland. She says they're not hearing from their distributors about shortages, but... It is oftentimes that we hear about a shortage immediately before we're expecting a shipment. If we think the demand's going to be higher than 150, 160 million, we're all going to work to see if we can make even more doses for next year. And so and that's what's happening right now. I think as soon as the flu vaccine becomes available, there is going to be a, a, a large demand for those vaccines. Pediatrician Dr. Karen Glassman says flu vaccines start arriving in August and they protect you for the entire flu season. How many flu shots did you give last year? How many do you anticipate giving this year? We gave 11,000 uh, flu shots, approximately 11,000 flu vaccines last year. Uh, and I anticipate we're going to give uh, probably double. We're going to certainly work along with all the other industry to increase our demand. Dr. Friedland says we don't know whether this upcoming season will be mild or severe for flu, but he makes a solid point with some good news. You see, the flu spreads exactly like coronavirus. So with continued aggressive hand washing, sanitizing and cleaning, social distancing and masks, and increased vaccination rates, there would likely be fewer flu cases in the U.S.